Welcome to a world at peace. At turn 100, we can say for certain that Harad rules the south with prosperity and peace at its foundational core. This is what we are all about. Ensuring that everybody in this rich land can enjoy the fruits of their labor and also make themselves useful to all of their friends through the sweat of their brow and the toil of their labor. We're also venturing into the world because no longer shall we be an isolationist confederation of tribes. No, 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 no. We will be looking for business opportunities along the Anduin and Guathlo rivers. We are sending a uh, spy up to uh, probe the area. He's essentially um, just scouting. He's a real estate scout. That's essentially what he is. And uh, also, our dear Kalatar is moving along because he is the real estate agent who will be doing the deals with uh, probably the wild men of Ened Wyth in this case. And as f pertains to the Anduin, there are, of course, Dol Guldur to deal to deal with. They, for now, have uh, laid down their arms against their... Uh, that were previously held very aggressively against their neighboring balesmen. And what we want to achieve is to retain that stability by establishing ourselves as a buffer between Dol Guldur and the balesmen. And the perfect place to do that, I believe, is Duinburg. It's going to be a little bit pricey, but it's cash that we have ready to hand and we have much more coming in. So the basic gist of our plan for now is that Umara here is heading up so that in a few turns he will be in spitting distance of Dwinburg. But actually Gimelsor could perhaps get the one turn quicker by the looks of things. And so we're sending him to... Uh, you know, at each their own speed, as it were. And of course, we have spies coming in as well, because they will help with um, a swift and orderly conversion. When it comes to uh, the western side of things, that is where our dear faction leader comes in. He's currently sitting in Goebel Mirlond and uh, having a nice little time, but he has a navy coming soon, and this will be taking him all the way up. Uh, to wherever we deem it profitable to set up shop. Let's go for turn 101 and see how this majestic peace plan unfolds. We come back to find that Bree is in trouble. Ooh, but we have uh, some fresh blood for the family. Zengi sitting in Haudenur. Is he the son of Danan? That would be interesting. And then, um... Huchafaya. Hutaifa in Amunathel. Uh, you know what? Can we send him somewhere? We're gonna send him to maybe Tirthoros or Tirthraid. Um, yes, we're gonna send you to Tirthraid and we are going to send Zengi to Tirthoros. That's gonna be nice. Um, anything else happening at the moment? Mm, no, not really. Well, Amunathel can upgrade and that's very nice so let's just get that underway we can increase taxes a little bit to help fund the infrastructure investments and Estala yes you need a high palace um, and then I think some leather workers and things like that are going to be very useful um, tell Jaff you're going on your little growth quest And actually, by the looks of things, you're going to be upgrading fairly soon, especially if we keep up this uh, type of infrastructure development. So that's lovely. Umbar. Just improving one step at a time. Ardmir. Hmm. Well, we've gotten uh, positive uh, population growth now, which is excellent. Um, the High Palace and the Militia Garrison together will see the end of corruption in the settlement, despite the 
lack of overt leadership. Um, let's also get some additional people in there. It's just, you know, get the tax base up. You know, it's a healthy portion of the settlement's income. So increasing it is definitely worth it. Gerbil Mialond, you're also going for growth at the moment, and I am liking the results so far. Toll for us. The meeting hall is good. A wall or toll would also be nice. Eventually. Hmm. Interesting. So if we get the public fountains first, and then the wall or toll, then we have a nice little combo there. That is population growth. That is everything for a settlement of this type. Um, and it's, of course, trade expansion. And it is increased military capacity afterwards through the wall or toll, and then the upgrade that follows. Excellent. Okay, and our navy is prepared. Good. So we shall set sail. Come this way. Yeah, that's a decent little meeting spot, I think. Um, so, of course, our dear leader should not be travelling completely on his lonesome. So, yeah, here you go in there, and then... Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you will take over the stewardship of Goebel Mielon, you hear? So, um, do a good job, eh? Do a good job. Uh, anything, any other sort of cavalry units that we'll want to send with them? We are mostly going for the cavalry units, it has to be said, because... Uh, the... <laughs> the, um... Infantry units and the like would simply just show, slow down the navy to an unpalatable degree, but uh, we can retain most of its natural speed by uh, taking only spies and cavalry with us. So that's what we're going to do. And seeing as how we're on the subject of the western shores, let's have a brief gander at what's going on around here. Um... So, Enid Wythe is dominating this region. What we're interested in is where they meet the Dunedain. And it might be up here. It seems that there are battles happening, and I could very well see the Dunedain uh, having a last stand type moment at Tharbad. We'll see. We'll see if that ends up being the case. Um, shall we say hello to the Rohirrim, who are apparently in the fields of Caliban? It's interesting. Um, so, yeah, okay. So you ally. Rohan is allied to Casadum, Dale, Dorwinian, and the Anduin Vale. Enemies of Mordor, Isengard, and Dol Guldur. So actually, very, very standard for Rohan. They're not friends with the elves, apparently. And since this region typically goes to the elves in the auto expansion, it's very possible that they have come to blows in the past, but have made friends w uh, once again. Hmm. Gerbil Tolfalas, you have two spies in there, and they are doing a cracking job. 48% is men of the east already. I'm very happy with that. Mm. Hello, Dolamroth. We will retrain everybody here. For weapons and armor, I believe, mostly. But we might just get some... Uh, yeah, the Southern Warband will be re retrained, yes. And then after that, we can go into the guard barracks and the things. Although I would probably build the uh, construct the builder's guild house first, um, yeah, seems sensible. Okay, let's get our uh, veil bound detachments on the road. Ooh, that's quite an army you got there, Gondor. And hello, Faramir, gobbling up all the generals in the realm apparently. Hmm. Okay. Um, Gimazor, don't go near Mordor, even if it slows you down by a bit. Ah, oh. okay, Gelebrin held by Gondor. That makes a good deal of sense, actually. 
Uh, I don't understand why it would be. Okay, so we go through the marshes. Well, let's hope that uh, let's hope these guys really like us. <laughs> okay, we're on our way. We're on our way. Oh, Bree is on the edge of collapse. But, um... Yeah, and and the problem with the last stand army for Bree is that they are just naturally so much <laughs> weaker than all their neighbours. So even their last stand army tends to not do very much. Because it's mostly hobbits. Okay, let's see. Tharbad. Besieged by goblins, held by an Edwyth. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. It is, it, it is very much the linchpin, because you can see that the Dunedain are also eyeing it a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at these guys. Try to train up our spy. It's always worth doing. It's a bit risky because it's so far from home. We can't easily replace him, but... Anyway. What we can do is bring these fleets to Tolfalas. And then once they are there, they can pick up the spies currently in the settlement. Because by the time they get there, those ships, uh, Pathan and al Jufail will be in a fine position to leave the place, I think. Because... They've already gotten it over 55%, and that's a good hump. Um, general economic upgrade for Imlat Karnan. Terathoros, yes. Mason Skilled House, please. Uh, sanctuary there. Good, good, good. Keep it up. In all the ways that matter. We're going to go for economic development at the moment, mostly. We have some military capability, of course. Uh, we can we have enough to respond comfortably to whatever might come our way, especially considering the fact that we've got some Muma kill around here. Mmm, very nice, very nice. Um, they should go into a fort somewhere. Actually, let's put them. Oh, I wish we could have that fort, but there is no mechanism for us to get it without declaring war on Dol Amroth. Okay, but anyway, those lovely Muma kill are going into a fort. Near the northern border, just in case those blue horsemen decide to get a little frisky. Um, speaking of Mumakil, how are we doing in Ankalagmir? Three turns away from a lovely day. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. And Ambrun is basically as economically developed as, as it is ever likely to be. And Peshtin's presence is worth almost 700. That's a fair bit. Hmm. We can get some sheep farming in there. You know, extra population. We can do some things. Otherwise, um, let's put some cavalry into that fort there. And Estalar, you've got some Hashari. Very nice. We can, you know what? We can send all the Hashari up to Tirthoros for all the upgrades that they would ever desire. Boom, 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 boom. Dolguldur and Rohan are at peace. That's interesting. Dolguldur is just uh, heading for peace talks everywhere. It's fascinating. This is so unlike them. <laughs> They're usually so belligerent. Well, we'll see. Maybe uh, I guess it might might not last. Um, yeah, but our serpent lord Gizaima is heading out. The wind shall return tomorrow. All right. Um, Gimelzor. Let's get you out there. All right, we've entered Emin Muil. Invisible. Yes, unseen and invisible. Good. 
let's say hello to Rohan. I wish to discuss... Just a tiny payment for a little thing. Ooh, trade rise. Okay, we're gonna take that later, dear prince. Okay, so Thea then or Eoma is dead. Or both. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose I can understand why they're not too happy. And the dwarves here, yes, they've essentially eradicated the elves of Lost Lorien. Um, are, there e are the elves of Lost Lorien even still in existence? Nope. They are gone. The dwarves have taken them out. Um, which means, I mean, in this, usually the dwarves are just confined to one or two regions, but if Kazadum really gets rolling, they've got a strong, strong position. So, worth keeping an eye on, for sure. Can we get an additional spy for Kaldun? Somewhere. We don't happen to have one around here. No. 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 Alright, alright, alright. Uh... Yeah, we'll need to build more brothels. Uh, although we could grab a spy from Barad Han, I think. Uh, send him down to Gobel Mirland and then on to Kaldun. Because we want this place converted a little quicker. Waters. Okay, Elrond is feeling sad, Dale is besieged, and our food is besieged. Okay. Loads of places are besieged. How has uh, Edwith's score developed, I wonder? Overall, they seem to be doing just fine. <laughs> oh, they lost a bit of territory, apparently. Okay. Interesting. Maybe, maybe, maybe... No, Tharbad has not been lost yet. No. Interesting. Krak Mahur. Getting the Mason's Guildhouse. Fainabel. Getting some growth. Um, Tarjav. Also on the growth trajectory. And, uh... We're building our roads everywhere. Kaldun gets its high palace. Ooh, army barracks. What can we get then? Uh, trollman champions, of course, of course. That is a nice... Very nice, um, unit. So, I guess we do want them, don't we? <laughs> Uh, Gerber Mielond keeping on the growth path. My lord, an extra two and a half percent growth, so that lets us up to six percent. Mhm, mhm, mhm. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. Trollman champions and Fainable and the Saratra marchers. Farewell. <laughs> Serpent Bladesmen, I mean, they're okay, but, I mean, th th they're just not, they don't compare to the Trollman Champions. Even though they have a higher upkeep, what's up with that? Hmm, okay. I I'm, I'm gonna go Trollman all the, all the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get you to Tirith Thoros, because you might actually just get a lovely little upgrade before you trip into the fort over there. <laughs> Um, all right. Retraining at Bad Hard. Goebel told for last. You're just fine. Just humming along at your own pace. Okay. Yes, my master. Our diplomat is moving it toward uh, the white, and here we will essentially just move our dear Ermisha back toward. Dol Guldur. And speaking of toward Dol Guldur, let's just keep an eye on how the terrain is using our spies. And then we can get... Uh, then we can get our generals to uh, go where they need to go. 
Let's see who gets there first. Gimazord. I think there's a higher chance of being blocked by the road and being delayed. This one has the advantage of uh, not being in anyone's way. <laughs> um, okay. So. Nepal. Yes, we shall continue our little uh, scouting operation over here. Shall be watching. Yes. It's very possible that we'll have to negotiate with the goblins for Tharbad, but ideally speaking, we would be able to say hello to Edwith next turn. Unless, oh, it looks like it's this land is taken by Isengard. Okay, that's interesting. So Edwith is under pressure. They have grown a bit too far, perhaps, for their military to sustain it, and now they're under pressure from north and south. It's not a comfortable situation for them, so maybe that will add a bit of urgency to our talks. Let's get another turn and find out. The news of today are happy news. Gimelsaw is getting married. Well, um, I hope she can keep up with him because he is racing through uh, foreign lands. Anyway, Sawadi. So Get over there. Yeah, you see, that is exactly the stuff we need to know to plot a decent route. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it. How's your skill? Can you take a look at any of these places with any degree of success? Probably not. <laughs> anyway. Ermisha. Converge on Dol Guldur. We will have talks with them very soon. Actually, yeah, it'll just be three turns before we can actually get where we want to go. But those three turns. Mm, yeah, you'll just have to relax, Edmisha. It's okay. You have a very important job to do. <laughs> um, Woodland Realm and Gundabad at war. No surprise there. Dolamroth and Kand are allies. That is interesting. Because historically, they have not been... Um, Dolamroth have been relatively quick to attack southward, but not this time. So, who are your enemies? It's only Gondor at this point. Oh, and I can't get you guys to bury the hatchet, can I? And does this mean that Kand will eventually find... Oh, it's so interesting. Does this provide us an opening to actually talk to those people? Well, we will need another diplomat in order to find out. And both of our diplomats are out and about on important missions. So we can't really say. Hmm. I say we take the bulk of this little army, we send it to find a bell for retraining, and then they can go north. Barathan gets a large town upgrade. That's a bloody beautiful thing. Um, oh yes, and we have a spy in Gober Mirland who can go to Khaldun. Everything is going as planned, and now there are fresh Moomakil as well. So let's get them rolling. Or what? No. Ah, it was the one. No, it was the one that we retrained in Tirithalos. Yes. But that's good. Extra armor for those, which means extra armor for each of the 14 hit points that are there. So that is really significant Order. for an upgrade, actually. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's get these Trollman Hunters into Terathalos for some routine maintenance. Um, I'm thinking that we can also... We can grab these five and some of those. All these people. 
they can go to Estada. Why not? Yeah, be retrained there. And these guys go to Tirithalos, and these guys go to Tirithalos. And eventually they will be retrained there. And eventually Tirithalos itself will also be a wonderful place to train such troops. That will be coming soon. Ennard Wyth has held on to Tharbad. Okay, that is actually pretty good news. I like that. And there is a decent chance of getting in with our spy. Although, there is no functional need for us to do that if, of course, we purchase the settlement. Which is in our dear, dear interest. So, to that end. Our wind shall be, our wind shall be fair. Hello, Sahir. Hello, Bakas. All right, up you go. Like the weary camel, now we must rest. Orders: the wind shall return tomorrow. Yes, the wind shall return tomorrow. Um, yep. So that is the progress for the today. Turn hundred and five. All right, Breeze leader has died again. Okay, it's not looking good for those guys. Hello, Isengard. Strange people. Actually, can we get... No, no alliance between us. Uh, because they don't like Edwith and they don't like Gondor. Ah, okay, okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, but we're going to end Edwith anyway. Though perhaps we can entice Isengard with some uh, real estate offers later on. Now, let's just have a quick look at what the situation is like in Cardolan. It is held by the Dúnedain. Okay. The Dúnedain hold it firm. And with those kind of troops in there, they're going to hold it for a while. Those are decent troops. Especially compared to anything that an Wyth can be said to have. I mean, look at this stuff. <laughs> anyway. Um, you're going to go back to Tharbad. You will be needed there, momentarily. Let's um, briefly have a look at our infrastructure projects. Everything's good. Estella, everything good? Everything good. Um, oh, actually, we'll get an army barracks there. That'll be lovely. Uh, and Karakmir. Get us that thing. And, ooh, the Mumma kill. Lovely. Get them underway. Um... Into that fort, then onto Tirithalos. It's going to be good. Um, Umbar gets a bazaar. And Artemir gets... Ooh, we're going to go for a high palace. Oh, no, sorry, an army barracks at one point. Uh, because you have a high palace now. It's looking pretty good. But actually, I'm going to get the Dark Shrine. Dark Shrine is going to be a real lovely thing because anything that boosts the income of that settlement is going to be nice. It's not going to see much war down here, so yeah. Mordor and Isengard at war. That's an interesting development. Extra pressure on the White Hand, although they probably have the capacity to just smash it up. Um, okay. Right. An honor to serve. At once. Your men are out of sight. Yes. We move. Yes, my master. Good. My ears are yours. As you will. My eyes are yours. Okie dokie. Our spies are heading through the land. We're getting there. Dwinburg is in reach. Almost. Tear the Thoros. Retraining all the Hashari they can. So after this Mason's Guildhouse, we're going to go hog wild on guard barracks. 
and Great Hall. And then uh, Cavalry upgrades, Archer upgrades. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. And this is going to be a bulwark for the region. And getting those Mumakil into... <laughs> Into forts is also uh, of significance because I mean, look at look at this price tag. <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty steep, pretty steep. Um, but it's it's good that they can uh, find lodgings in a measly little fort as opposed to a boat. <laughs> um, is everybody where we want them to be? Yes, they are. Turn hundred and six. Ooh, geopolitical news, not much for turn at 106, which is actually how we prefer it most of the time. We do like it when people can just live and let live, you know? We march. The sunset of today's journey. Now, tell us, Jeff, what do you have for me? You have population growth on the agenda, and I love it. Tier is right. Uh, similar story. Yeah. Let's just keep building things that makes this place grow until it grows into a city. Uh, Telethoros. Yes. Guard barracks for you. Great hall for you. Six turns. And then we go on the um, stables side of things. Gerbil tool for us. Um, yeah, you just keep on growing, growing, growing. Yeah. It's going to be good. Good to have a robust population in there. All right, then. Oh, okay. Hello, Gash. Strange person. It's gonna be another little while till we get there, but it's gonna be nice when we do. Um, all right. Noble master. Ah, oh, two turns to Dwienburg. Okay, good. Let's have a look at the Western Prospect. The Guathlo. It's going to take another couple of turns to get there, but it's going to be good. Um, hello, Baranor. Baranor. Uh, okay, how are things looking at Tharbad? Things are fine at Tharbad. Uh, Galadar. Ooh, Isengard is gunning for our food. Okay. Alright. Oh, they have gunned, taken a shot at, and conquered our food. Right. Well, that actually might change things. Now I'm beginning to think that Isengard is the power that we need to rein in. Because if this is the state of things with Enid Wythe. Ooh, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. They are definitely on the up and up. So we will want to do something about that. Huh. Alright. We're just going to slip on through. Securing... Ernest Wythe's border in the south. Actually, purchasing our food was, would be perfect because that could allow us to train more diplomats as well. And it is reasonably close to our lovely leader who will be coming in soon. All right. Uh, we just need to get our spies in a row. A couple of turns for them to get there. Two turns for the others. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. It's going to be good. All right. Uh, turn 107 then, I suppose. Anything else? How may I serve? Nah, just moving... This huge oaf through the land. Into that fort on the way, because why not? Um, Tethalos, you're retraining all the things you should be. Good. Another relatively quiet turn, although there is some diplomatic news. Uh, do, 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 do. So, Kingdom of Dale and Ring of, of Angmar allies. That is a bit out of left field. 
And Mordor and Rohan are at a truce. Okay. Interesting. Mordor must be feeling threatened by Isengard at this point, and with their shared enemy in sight, they are apparently becoming f friends now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, find a body, just continue on your current road. Your current trajectory. Um. We're going to upgrade all of our armors and weapons and all those things. Okay. Mining network in Kruk Mahur for sure. Yes. we. This is not really much of a military region at the moment. Although they do have some training capacity, which is good. Um, we want a high palace eventually. You know, all the growth we can get is good. Um, and a dark temple would be nice. You know, those kind of things. Um, but we are going to go with the mines first. Imlet Karnan, you've got your mines in a row, that's good. Um, and Sayakan, you get roads, excellent. Providing trade opportunity for everybody. Oh, don't we have a general here? Yes, we do! A theme! <laughs> you've just been sitting there. Um, okay, we'll get you out and about in a bit. Um, first though, grain exchange, good plan. After that... Hmm... Mm -mm -mm. Maybe we should just go with the barracks, actually. Seeing as how that curtails some corruption. And facilitates a bit of uh, training. Um, okay, Ammonithel. This is a an economic powerhouse in the making, is what I'm going to say. So we're going to lean into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty nice. Um, Keldun. Get those stables. I want them. Gobermilond. Still just all about growth. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Lovely. Now, uh, let's take a look at this fellow we have out here. There is, of course... The possibility of purchasing Stulat Sakand. And in that case, he is perfectly positioned to just take it over. Of course, in order to do that, we would need to send a diplomat there, and our diplomats are currently engaged with other matters of state. Um, so. Hello there, Nagmuth. He's apparently uh, pretty uh, good at repelling spies and the like, but uh, that's okay. Yes. One turn and we can make our purchase. We can make our bid. Yes. Ooh, and look who's making a bid for our food. And it wise, are back. They were my own and they've brought some huntsmen. But let's make landing. See what's ahead of us. Okay, okay. Dumnalin, hello. Okay, so they are fighting back. They really are fighting back. You can't fault them th for their tenacity. That's for sure. Okay, but let's see if we can try to purchase Alk food. That would be good, I think. Um, I think that would help Enidwaith long term. I mean, the best help for them long term would be to actually control it, I know, but, you know. We're just trying to rein in the uh, aggressive powers of the world. Vakath, come this way. And how are we feeling for culture here? Very, very solid. Excellent. So, spies, get out of there. And Wackers, you just head back to those lovely places. Um, we're gonna need you <laughs> in these lands. Anything else? Um, well, we have uh, Mumakil moving into a fort. It's always nice. Tambrosia to Estella, you will be retrained. 
soon. <laughs> and an army barracks, that's going to be good. Yeah, all lovely, all lovely. Serpent archers. You know what? We do want some serpent archers. It's a good unit to have. Very flexible, can be used in so many combat situations. Yeah. How may I serve? I suppose we should get these Trollman Hunters toward Tirthos as well. And um, we can bring these basic Haradrim forces to Barthan. Alright, one more turn. Alright, turn 108. Let's have a look at the world. War has been declared. Moria and Isengard. How far north are they going at this point? Or how far south are the goblins going? Into Byrig, of course. Yes, because they finished off the Dunlendings and now they're clashing with the White Hand. It was just Isengard at war with everyone, seemingly. Gondor, Enidwyth, Khazad-dum, Rohan, Mordor, and now the goblins of Moria, too. Hmm. What a pernicious diplomatic mess they have put themselves in. They certainly do have some decent troops around. Alright. Let's make a bid for elk food. You have something to discuss with us? Yes, I have something to discuss with you, Ishrak, pillager of elk food. What do you say to the idea of giving me that town? Uh, I will pay you handsomely. 55,000. Actually, no, that's a bit too balanced. We don't like balanced deals here. No. 35,000. That is my offer. Ooh. Okay. 45,000 then. No. No, no. No insults intended at all. You must think us meek or foolish to suggest this. Okay, I'm going to offer a regular tribute then of twelve thousand five hundred for a total of six turns. How do you feel about that? Maybe we would have to make it a bit bigger. Twenty thousand for each of five turns. There you go. Wow. Okay, they just won't take it. That's interesting. So we might be better off trying to contain them from somewhere else. Uh huh. Such as Londaire. Okay. That'll be for next turn, though. Okay. Let's see if we have better luck with Dol Guldur. Man, Isengard, they're just not having it. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, there is, good sir. So, uh, I am going to... No, I'm not going to give you any regions, actually. I'm going to demand a region of you. Uh, and it is going to be, um, where is it? Dwienburg. There we go. Fifty-five thousand for it straight out. You must think us wow! <laughs> wow! That is. That they're essentially just saying, oh, we, we want all your money. We want all your money every time you buy something. That is that really the way the AI has gone in this iteration? <laughs> it's just... Okay, uh, well... I... Okay, 100,000 then. Never. Your proposal implies we are fools. 
That is strange. They, they just won't give up territory unless you give them all your money all the time. I, I saw this with the Woodland Realm as well. This is a bit weird for me. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to overrule that. So, okay, 150,000. We're just trying to enter a market here. We won't get trade rights though. That's to us. And now they ask for even more! <laughs> Man! What is it with these guys? Okay. Um, Hundred thousand for two turns. What do you say? No. We will not accept such a thing. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to take this. It's going to be expensive, but now we at least have it. Okay. So, give us all. Get in there. We have a settlement to convert. My goodness me. Um... The goblins must actually be doing pretty well in this one. They have a territory stretching down from from Dunland to the Vale of Anduin. That's uh, ah, okay. They are being fought back, uh, you know, fought by the by Angmar of all places. This region is so interesting at the moment. I have to say. Um, ah, we can retrain our Mumakil. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to lose some money for a couple of turns, but I mean, we can. We can survive that, for sure. Um, one wonders how this is going to shake out in... Uh, in turns to come with, say, Isengard and what they're doing. Because it seems that the AI just wants all your money. They, they look at how much money you have and they go, Yeah, I'd like all of that, please. Which is a little interesting, <laughs> but that means that should mean that when we have less money, maybe Isengard is going to ask for less money. I'm I'm interested to follow this uh, diplomatic dynamic. Uh, turn 109, then we come to another turn. We get an offer from the Merchant's Guild, which we will happily take. Imladris has been besieged by Angmar, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, who might be in that region? I don't know. Um, the Moria. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it could be Moria. It could be Angmar. Edwaith? Probably not. Okay. Obtain trade agreement with the clans of Edwaith. You know what? Okay. We are going to say hello to Edwaith and ask if they are willing to be more reasonable with their financial asks you, than those bloody orcs in Mirkwood. So, um, I'm gonna say Londair. Or is it your capital? Apparently it is. So we cannot just ask for that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, alternatives, alternatives. Basradum, Kobelishar, those are all northern. Brekost? No, Tharbad. You know, okay, we're gonna see what we can get with Tharbad. I'm going to make an offer of a hundred thousand. Should be generous. Okay, they'll have that. Okay, good. Uh, then I am going to take. A little bit of that cash back, just for trade rights. Okay. Um. Oh! Okay. Anyway. We have Tharbad now. Uh, okay. I know it's going to be a hot mess of a region at the moment, but uh, we have spies. And we're going to send them. It can be there next turn. 
and that's going to be all right. <laughs> and we're going to need some uh, some public order in this place, for sure. For now, we have a whole bucket full of cultural unrest, and we can train a spy. Spy is good. I want a spy. Um, find a bell can upgrade to a large city. Beautiful. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, we're going to need to raise some taxes here. <laughs> and Karkmir, yes. While we still have a little bit of money, uh, I mean, we're going to get it back very quickly, uh, but we're going to hit rock bottom next turn, but that's okay. We've gotten our diplomatic objectives well sorted. I think uh, Ankagmir needs a great hall and we need to get Quirash into the free zone. Tarjav, you're building things. Sayakan, you're building your walls. Um, Umbar, you've got your grand stables. That's wonderful. Guard barracks, it's going to be good. Terthos, you've got your guard barracks and I love it. Um, great hall follows and that's going to do good as well. Let's retrain those while we can. And... Baratharn, yes, we want the Mason Skilled House. And Dwinburg, you've gotten your Sanctuary. Let's just double down on that path for now. We want this place to stabilize as quickly as possible. A woodman camp, hmm, nice little building. Um, <laughs> Brawler's Pit, we don't need that. The most expensive tower builder in the world. <laughs> it's just gonna make sure we can keep an eye on things. Speaking of tower builders, um, yeah, I guess we do want this fella out of here. <laughs> he seems to agree. Um, he can go to Imlad Karnan. Yeah. Ooh, new general in Sayakan. Okay. You know what? Let's just build a few towers. It's gonna be nice. Getting a little bit of uh, the proper color on the map. It soothes the soul, doesn't it? Yes. Next turn, he won't be able to build any towers, though. But Corandage can build a Mason Skilled House, and that's good. Let's see what happens with Tharbad. <laughs> Maybe we'll be attacked by Captain Imbrahil. I don't think Enidwyth are going to attack us. We are allies, and we've just uh, insured them a lot of cash. So hopefully they will be... Yes, my master. ...kindly disposed toward us. It's possible that we'll have to take a look at... Um, ...claiming Saduri. Because if Londale and Baradvin fall... Then otherwise have nothing at all east of the Guatlo. All of a sudden. Ah, okay, they, they will have Vile, I suppose. Oh, okay. But, you know, these are settlements that we can then gobble up and uh, pr establish a, a serpent oh, perimeter, <laughs> so to speak. Um, okay, let's see how that goes. Ah, another marriage. Very nice. Horse breeders killed in Dwinburg. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's let's try it. Uh, right, take a Tharbad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty predictable. Um, all right, critical time here. We must make sure that we can get our. Ah. Uh, 
No! He didn't make it! Uh, did we lose? Uh, hey! Yes! We lost the spy we had just trained there! Oh my lord! Okay, okay. Okay, I mean we should just have been closer when we made this purchase, but... Uh, I did want to get it through. Anyway, all that tumultuous uh, hubbubaloo aside, things are looking decent. Our economy hasn't cratered, and we are productive. We have not hit rock bottom, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, we have weathered the financial storm. Dominion of Isengard is the largest faction, and our is the largest! Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, and our spy and Tharbat died. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you're hired, and then immediately you get killed by protesters. Uh, <laughs> the whims of fate, you know? The whims of fate. Hello, men of the Vale. What are you doing here? We're just stabilizing a bit, making a little bit of an outpost here in the in the land. Everything's nice. Everything's good. Ah, and the militia garrison would actually be really nice here. So we'll get that one. Is that what you want? Is that uh, what you want? Uh, Western Mirkwood is also held by Dol Guldur. Okay. Well, well. But we will make our little... Uh, Trade-based expansions in these areas. That's good. It's good. It's good. Um, boom, boom. Troops to be retrained. And How may I serve? Uh, we'll will. just send those guys to Barad Han. This is where we have all our cheap infantry. <laughs> How may I mm. serve? Okie dokie. And Umbar, you get building the guard barracks. It will prove an excellent addition to our realm. I suppose we should get this guy out and about at some point. We should. We really should. Um, it remains to be seen, though, whether we can actually train trollman champions outside our heartlands. I'll be interested to see that with places like Dwienburg, if we can actually get them. Um, I'm not sure how whether they are a a AOR, Area of Recruitment Units, or not, but we'll see. Hello there, Balesman! Have you come to make a trade? We bring word for you. you sure have, and apparently you're poor, but we can deal with that. So, uh, diplomatically, you are enemies of Dogodur and Gundabad. Okay, okay, okay. So, what I'm seeing here is fertile grounds for first trade rights, then we ask Dol Guldur for an alliance, and then we can ask Anduin Vale for an alliance and see if we can get those to uh, bury the hatchet, as it were. For now, though, we'll just uh, take a regular tribute for trade rights, a hundred for, you know, for 12 turns. It's a very reasonable offer. It is good you show the sense to ask, not presume. Oh, okay, they don't like those kind of commitments, do they? Uh huh. Okay, okay. Uh, 355 for trade rights, then. It's good to until all right, all right. Still good news, still good news. It's good to get along with your neighbors. Bloody hell, civil revolt in Tharbad. Well, there's only one thing to do. We're going to take this place. That is just how it's going to go. 
and they will likely rise up because they have so many units in there. The only trouble for them is their units are pretty bad and uh, we have pretty good cavalry. So I think we can take them. Do, do we have, um, happen to have any, no, no mercenaries here. No, no, just checking. Just checking. Londaire is still in play militarily. Hmm, interesting. Estalar, getting the champions of the Trollmen. We'll also get some other military units while we can. Why not? Hello, the Noor. You've gotten your blacksmith and. Let's get some public baths in there and uh, then maybe it'll be time for, for settlement growth after that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm a nether. Yeah, just continue. Continue with your trade expansions. It, it is looking good and promising. Ardomir. Hmm. Grand stables. Gonna be nice. Khaldun. You've got the grand stables. That is nice. And... Tharbad repaired a bunch of stuff, and then we lost it. Fair enough. Uh, remnants of Angmar have grown. Hmm. I mean, we might need to take a look at those guys. Noble one. At once. Now, Gimelsor is definitely the better of our administrators. Could Umara yes, take care of this place master. in his current state? Not quite. So he is not good at... Uh, dealing with a recently purchased settlement, whereas Gimelzor is. This is important information. Maybe Roscobel, you know, is a large town that's not too... Uh, it's not too meaningful in terms of uh, to the amount of people you have to you, keep so happy. Uh, but I'm thinking that our next target of acquisition here should be from road. Angmar. Actually, so why don't we send out a spy to have a look? Fenholm is an interesting place. Uh, ha, 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 ha. They've had it for quite a while. Melkor Shadow is very much dominant in the region. Oh, and, and Edwyth are talking to Angmar as well. Hmm. And Dale. Okay. Ha 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 ha. We have some Mummikill over here. You need to go to Tirthalos. <sighs> Just one turn out. Okay, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> but anyway, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We need to get some troops from Fainabel to where they can be retrained. Uh, namely, these fellows. Yeah. Up to Terthalus they go. Oh, yes, you'll rest here until dawn. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we have a fleet coming in, don't we? Yes. Maybe something we should do is just ship some troops. It'll take a while, but we should ship some troops up toward Tharbad. I feel like that region is fairly volatile. And if possible, we should also get another general with us. Now, speaking of generals, we have a theme coming over here. And I'm also thinking that Wadila, uh, you know, just move west, move west, my lad. We're gonna go a long way from home, but it's gonna be fine. Folks like these, for instance, they're also good candidates for just 
heading over where we need a bit of extra presence, you know? We have a lot of lower mid-tier troops around here. And we can use those. Ooh, Muhad Beastmasters and Dweenburg. That's fun. Retraining of the Mumakil, very fun. Does that mean that he can get uh, arm? Yes, armor ratings up. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. All right, shall we have another turn or two just to round things out? Let's see how it goes. All eyes rest on Tharbad as we wonder whether our dear Serpent Lord will have to Serpent slay some rebels. But no, they stay inside. Perhaps because they fear that a wife might enter the fray. Hmm. Seven turns would need to uh, hold that siege. Hmm. An interesting predicament. Okay, so in the meantime, we're just going to send our spies to keep tabs on what's going on. This area is very much at play, and ooh, it looks like the goblins have taken Herot. Yeah. Hmm. It's a volatile land for sure. To Thoros, what do you get? Uh, you're gonna get Grand Stables and Archery Rangers. It's gonna be wonderful. And Dweenburg. A dark shrine for you. And lovely to see the armor upgrade on Umara. Uh, we're getting the shadows now. <laughs> lovely. Good to see. My ears are Noble one. Now, if we manage to purchase Fenelm, then our dear Umara or Gimazor yes, would be able to move straight in, basically. But first, we need to get our diplomat there, obviously. Yes, sort of okay. Let's have a look at how Dweenburg is feeling now. Yes, Still not quite ready for Umara. Okay, okay. But it's getting there. It's getting there. We have two spies, and uh, the culture is, has passed fifty percent, which is usually where things really start to get better. And when we get the militia garrison things are going to look up even more. Your win. This thing here. I cannot go there. I have come to the end of today's road. Yes, my master. Yes, noble master. Fatila, come this way. Um, there's a bit of corruption still in Sayakan, but we can deal with that fairly easily. Troops like these from Finabel should just be getting on toward the north Orders. as well. These are going toward Thoros, obviously, for military purposes. And then we have a navy coming along. Should we just take 
Our dear faction heir. Out of Barathon. Would that be reasonable? He does help the place quite a lot. But... Many people could help that place quite a lot. Hmm. Well, he's still, he'll stay there in, in there for at least another turn. I'm thinking that Ithim can hang out for a turn in Imlet Karnen. Um, just help the place in little ways. We could take Utfaya from Tir Ithraid in a single turn. Once this is a city, it's going to become a lot better no matter what else happens. It's not the wealthiest settlement in terms of trade. So actually the good that he will do there, the amount of good, is a bit limited. Um, we can also grab Thingy from... yeah. Either way, um, I think Warlord Musab should be used where his influence will be greatest. Yes. So, And that will be up here. So that we have a couple of good generals in each location. Gimazor and Umara up here in the east. Uh, and in the west we will have our family dynasty essentially. <laughs> yeah, good. Another turn spent with peace. As you will. Tomorrow's journey. Mm. From the shadows, we shall be watching. From the okay, shadows. extra skill for our spy. And you wish Brings a tear you. of joy to my eye. Hmm, okay. Dunedain and Ered learn at war. Okay, okay, okay. Tirthoros, yes, your Mumakil are ready and How may I serve? prepared for whatever comes. We'll put them in a fort just to save a bit of cash. Be the most valuable fort in living memory. Um, Ankaragmir, you are poised for greatness. Economic greatness, that is. Yeah, that market will definitely pay for itself. Ankaragmir is a good trade settlement. So, because we have roads, well upgraded, and then... And because of the trade resources that are here, such as the labor camps and the like. Not that we're dealing with slaves, we're just, you know, uh, contractually obliged labor. Yeah, so because of that, um, that place will be quite wealthy. Um, High Palace in Kurandash, or maybe an archer range first, and then... And then we get around to the High Palace. Tal al Jaff. Yes. Here we will be actually probably upgrading the place um, before that sheep farming is done. So we can raise the taxes a bit. It's okay. Guard barracks in Umbar. Um, archery range. And a high palace after that. Barathorn, yes. Um, what a wonderful trade settlement this is going to be, because look at that. Ooh, it's a wonderful, wonderful bit of expansion there. And we're also going to get a great hall in there. Gobel Mirlund. Also, just going for all that uh, population growth, it is beautiful to see. And Gobel Tolfalas, similar thing. What happens if we add a dark temple? Ooh, good things happen if we add a dark temple. Hmm. And then eventually we will be getting on with great halls and the like. Orders. All right, from tier three comes Udafaya. Yes, nobleman, an honor to serve. He's not as good at managing Baratan as uh, his predecessor, but he's still going to be okay. He's going to learn the ropes, you know. 
handed him that card, and then Ithim is actually doing a really good job. So I think I'm just I'm just gonna keep him there. Uh, the Nur is well managed by Danan. And then let's get some some cheap troops onto our boats. Our wind shall be fair. How may I Anything else? Well, do we need some archers or pikes? How may I serve? Orders. Pikes, please. How may I then on Sahir shall go. We must anchor until morning. Tear Ithraid, ready to upgrade. Alright, let's have a look at this place. Eremisha is getting over to have a talk with the Angmarim. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, and of course the militia garrison is coming along in Dwinburg. How is Gimmels all poised to leave? Actually, it's, it's looking better and better. So I am going to put him up here. I'm going to build a tower to keep an eye on everything and then Hopefully, next turn, we can move him into Fennel. My friends, it seems that despite our best efforts, we will have to finish off this episode with a battle. Because the defenders of Tharbad have sallied forth. Are you ready, Serpent Lord Kazimar? Here we go. We've got horses, they don't. Let's see how it goes. Um, now they have a unit of hunters, and those can be annoying to deal with, but um, I am not too concerned. It should be okay. We have the upper hand in so many ways. So for now we're just going to allow them to exit their beloved little Tharbad. And then we will just see what we can do from there. I'm going to try to pull them apart in various directions. We're going to outmaneuver them, outflank them. Initially, we're going to go very methodically. One by one. But we want to be out, well out, in fact, well out of range of their towers. Because we have high value units here and um, it's just in our interest to keep them alive. So come this way, dear clansmen, remnants of Dunland, of all things, remnants of a realm long, long gone from this earth. This middle earth. Look, they can't even handle a door. It's like a traffic jam of epic proportions. Okay. Spears. Berserkers. 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 Spears. Berserkers. Spears. Berserkers. Spears. Berserkers. Spears. Spears and berserkers. And somewhere... In here, there are also some hunters. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right, all right. We're going to spread out our position a little bit. Divide and conquer is the name of the game. <laughs> yes, let them feel the sting of your arrows. What do we have here? Spearmen, berserkers. Do we have the hunters anywhere? Yeah, they're over there. Flanked by a lot of spearmen. Okay. Mm. Well, that means that over here we're going to have pretty free reign with our archers. So actually, let's bring them this way. Black Snake Guard, go that way.
so far so good. Seven percent of them gone, just to arrow fire. Um, <laughs> Black Snake Guard, Berserkers, Berserkers, Black Snake Guard, Berserkers, Berserkers. Okay. Um, smack those guys down, please. Yeah, shooting their spearmen is pretty nice. Oh! And then get out of there again. How are we doing over here with the Serpent Guard? They're having a fine time. Okay, uh, zero losses to report so far. Which is nice. Um, now, where is their general, one wonders? Is this the one? Ooh. Uh, yes, that looks to be the fellow. Or maybe it's... No, 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 it is this one. Okay. These 177 lads. <laughs> okay, then we have... An interest in seeing them go away. Uh, clan hunters over there. Mm -hmm. Let's charge them from behind as they try to find their footing. Ooh! Okay, that's uh, not an ideal position there. They intercepted us. Didn't take massive casualties though. It's good that we caught that in time. Okay, now we're getting to the dangerous point here where our skirmish mode will stop working due to lack of arrows. That's okay though. Their units are getting tired. Oh, hello. You're gonna get smashed. Kaplum plum plum plum. Perfect. Spearman. Hmm. Eh. You know what? Let's take on those berserkers. See what that does. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're being shot at, but that's okay. Um, over here, spearmen, spearmen, spearmen galore, and some berserkers. We're just going to charge them now, and go boom! And while they are figuring out their bearings, they will be struck by the Serpent Lord. The general somehow is still alive. Not that that needs to matter too much. Their morale is terrible to begin with, so... For the moment, the fickle smile of fortune shines upon us. Pray this is a portent of a victory! Keep mobile when possible. Uh, spearmen, berserkers, spearmen, spearmen. Where are the hunters? Come on. Yeah, there we go. General is slain. It's 
see how these snakes fight without their heads. All right then, Amandir has fallen. Now we can just charge down whatever, whenever, however we want. Uh, we have lost a few troops over here. Ah, to the hunters, of course. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anything we touch falls to pieces. Uh, but not those guys, apparently. And plum 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 plum. Yes. Very good. Let's just capture a few of them to gain some experience for our wonderful troops, and then we'll be out of here. Gone. Haradrium Cavalry! Come on! Come on! Get him! What?! Are you like allergic to them? Why don't you touch them? Anyway. Uh, or maybe... Let's just see if we can get them over there. Come on! I mean, oh, okay, now the towers are firing. Okay. It's time. The day they were born. <laughs> oh. Oh, the poets write of this most wondrous triumph. A very good battle indeed. Very, very good. Very good. Serpent archers really coming into their own. It's nice to see. So, it's time to move into Tharbad. We do it with a little bit of damage, but we want this place secured. <sighs> uh -huh. We rest here until dawn. So, we have a town ready to upgrade, and... Blacksmith in Erthala, yes, yes, thank you, thank you, we'll have it. Um, we should have a guild here, by now, come on! Give me, give me that weaponsmith guild, it's gonna be good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sayakan. Guildhouse, please, and then we're gonna build out all the trade infrastructure in the world. It'll be pretty. Amunathel, keep going for the gold and to trade. Yeah, you're on a good path. Get that wall built, and I will be happy. Dolgaldur and Rohan at war again. High Elves and Isengard allies? Okay. That's an interesting one. <laughs> How may I serve? Remove. Orders. Okay, our fleet moves ever on. And it looks like we'll have to negotiate with Ice and Bloody Guard for Londa Dare. Uh, alright, alright, alright. I did like uh, the uh, end of life a bit better when it came to negotiations. Have to say. I really have to say. More spies to Tharbad. Um. My ears are yours. Condition. Orders. My eyes are yours. Yay! Better spy. Joy. Okay. Um. You go back to Tolfalas. If nothing else, we might want to retrain your navies. Um. Okay, and then eventually our faction heir will arrive 
And we'll have to see what happens. Maybe maybe Enid Lyth will strike back and take Lond there. Um, and if so, I will be pretty happy. At once. Because they just seem to be a bit easier to deal with. And our Serpent Lord agrees. <laughs> uh, an additional spy. That'll be good. And, um, Dwinburg, yes. Oh, yes, we're ready to make our final expansion for the day. Fenelm! You have a proposition for us? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, boom. This is but a small town. So... I'll make a modest offer of 45,000. I must say we are not Flat out rejection. I'm afraid What? What is it with these people? I mean <laughs> That is I'm going to reset uh, Misha because this just cannot stand. Come on. What happened to the AI to be so averse to selling their settlements off? Okay, 70,000. Thank you. Okay, um... And then we will guide this place to prosperity. We still have to make trade agreements with Enid Wyeth. Yes, my master, dear friends, what can we do for you today? Just a little bit of that, and uh, you know what, let's get some military access on the table, maybe, no, no, they don't like that. <laughs> Alright, but we did get that trade agreement, which is good. Um, that has increased Tharbad's income quite considerably. We will also need to talk to the Dunedain. Come to the end of today's road. Yes, noble master. Muhad beast masters, you will be very handy in this situation. We'll require an extra spy in Fenelm. And we have two in Dwinburg, which is rapidly becoming more amenable to our personal preferences. Alright, um... Vajila, come this way. Let's send you to Estada first thing. And then we have... Uh, we have Zengi here in Tirthalos. Maybe he can do better in Tirthride actually, economically speaking. I guess it's pretty much the same, but he will increase the population growth a bit. And that is more attractive to have in tier right at the moment, I would say. Um, then we can up the taxes a bit. And end result being more cash in the bag. Alright. Let's take one final turn and see how this shakes out. We've established ourselves in Tharbad and... We are about to make even more progress, I think. We just need to deal with the neighbourly situation. But we really have put ourselves at the crossroads between the Dunedain, the Goblins, and the Nedwyth. And potentially Isengard very soon, if they keep expanding into Goblin territory, of course. Let's see. The Duna line have gotten busy in Anumanas. Fenelm gets a Merchant's Guild, but that's not the only news. Because I'm afraid, my friends, we have been betrayed. 
Fenelm has been besieged by Angmar. Now, our first call is always to offer a ceasefire, and they will take it. Ooh, that is great news. So, 15,000 for a ceasefire. You have so many enemies, I'm sure you will like it. Okay, uh, I'll give you map information. And you will take it. You will take it. You will take it. Good. Ceasefire. Um, we're going to start out small then. Just to get you climatized to the idea. Good. Um, now, this will not hold them off forever by a long shot. But what it will do is give us time. And Umara... I mean, seeing Umara fight some North... Uh, not Northmen. Sorry, 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 sorry. Some uh, Iron Crown people. I mean, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? They have some raiders. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. And Angmar is coming down here as well. Maelfin. Ah, okay. Well, well. Well, well. Um, we'll have to move quickly to establish some sort of a military here. But soon we'll be able to train more troops here in Dwinburg. And until then, maybe a dark temple would be nice. Because it gives additional free upkeep, so it sets us up for the future. And then, I mean, all that's left is just to make this place happier. And more profitable. Is that what you want? I can reach you, but not Okay. Yes, Kalatar. Um You know what? Yeah, and otherwise go kick them to the curb. Come on. Kick Isengard out of Lond there, then I will purchase it from you. You'll be rich, we'll be happy, and you'll be safe. Um that's the idea anyway. But for now, we might want to uh, establish. As you will. Do we have? Good to see you, my friend. How can we help? If we can, but I don't think we can. We can't get military access with them. Bloody hell. <sighs> okay. Well, well, well. Um, some other time then. Maybe they're a bit too keen on taking Tharbad or something. <laughs> can't rule it out. Can't rule it out. But we're converting the place pretty quickly, so that's good, and we are. Moving troops all along the shore. Come this way. It is possible, you know, a possible future is to make a surprise strike at Lond there with the entire might of this low cost Haradrim Southron army. Um, and then to sue for peace. Hoping that Isengard, with its many, many enemies, would be inclined to accept. Because, yeah, they have six enemies. What would they want with another one? And the goblins are encroaching. Hmm. All right. Talajav. We shall build out the place How and we'll so send Order. additional troops to Barathan. Um, we have the largest faction. Our legacy of conquest? Ha! Please! Our legacy of purchases. Our legacy of mercantilism. Anyway. Hmm. Ardemir will be retraining troops and training some shadows because shadows are always good. Kaldun. Ooh, you've got yourself some Trollmund champions there. And we could send Aban down to Umbar. Take Ubada. Ubada. Up toward Kaldun. I knew you'd like it. Okay. Dwinburg, you've gotten your military garrison, which is good. It's very good, very good, very good. Um, 
far bad. You've repaired some stuff. And you have spies in here now. All of which is wonderful. Hostilities cease between Harad and Angmar. Um, Woodland Realm and Anduin Vale at War. Huh. Okay. Truly, we have inserted ourselves into two very different powder kegs. And it is up to us to stabilize it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Can we get around here and just uh, make a tower? We want to know what's coming at us. And eventually Alvis will find something better to do. Yes, Though apparently that is not yet... <laughs> I think he will attack us again. But that will remain to be seen next episode. Because for now, we are very comfortably where we want to be. Our economy is rocketing upwards once again after its uh, brief little... To a, a little little dip and then pew, back up it shall shoot um, and of course if the enemy come if more enemies come our way then we shall shoot as well yes, we have sir. the means to protect what is ours uh, by not right of birth or heritage or culture or anything like that no 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 it is ours by right of purchase and with that I just hope that you'll have a lovely day be kind to yourself be good to others, and I will see you soon.